is who can help with that. <laughs> Were they expensive? Your Honor, we don't pay people to testify. Then how do you do it? Threats, usually enough. <laughs> <laughs> and still, we thought we could win. We talked about it all the time at the jail. They'd bring all the men out to a huge cage and we'd all file in. Lawyers, wives, supporters, even fans. Most of those were young women. I mean, it was like a radical zoo. By this time, there was a pretty big defense committee and Spee's. I mean, he even attracted debutantes. And whom did your husband attract, madam? Not debutantes, though he probably wouldn't have minded. He did talk a lot with a journalist, Henry Demarest Lloyd. Lloyd had been going after the oil railroad trust. They call that kind of thing muckraking now. Some call it that. I call it aiding and abetting terrorists. Well, of course you do. Anyway, Lloyd took a lead with the clemency campaign mainly trying to counteract all the negative publicity during the trial. Albert, we're turning this around. You really think so? Seriously, people are beginning to reconsider. Did my coming back for trial make a difference? Can't really say about that, but just the other day I saw Lyman Gage. He's a banker in town, right at the top. Now, a month ago, he wanted you to hang. Now he's for acquittal. What changed his mind? Labor relations. Martyrs are not good for business. I see. And you call that a victory? Be realistic, man. You can't expect people to see beyond their own interests. All you have to do now is give them a reason to forgive you. Ah, forgiveness. We forget our self-respect, and they forgive us. You're making this more difficult than it needs to be. Really? You know, I used to be for reform. Elections. A few compromises. We were actually the majority, right? But then our candidates started winning office, fair and square. And what happened? Ballot stuffing. Rigged elections. I know. And afterwards, judges dismissed the charges. So we took to the streets. Protests, but peaceful. Until the bosses brought in their goons. And the law was on their side, of course. Hey, we got the message. Take a beating or defend yourself. But bombs? It's easy to judge. I know. But look, you gave them just what they wanted. An excuse to go after all of you and the eight-hour day. Look, I appreciate all your help, but I don't have to defend myself, my decisions. Human beings need, deserve dignity. They need to hear they can fight back. And then what? You know the score. You wrote about the trusts, Morgan, Vanderbilt, Rockefeller. You know what they're capable of. And what are you capable of? I'm not sure. Are you? Ask yourself, if you had to choose between staring down the muzzle of a Gatling gun and defending yourself with a bomb, or whatever it took, what would you do? It's not a choice I ever want to make. Neither did I. But now that I'm here, I can't make believe it was just a mistake. My mistake. And I won't deny what we wanted. But the point is to survive, isn't it? Get out of here. What difference does it make, why? The difference between surrender and honor. Let me be perfectly clear, Miss Parsons. If I don't get something very soon, a cell group, a potential target, a statement that I can use, you will be charged. Ha! For once in your life, do the right thing. Hmm. Let me think about it. The smart thing. Go to hell. Hell? No, I don't think so. That would be the life that you chose for your son, wouldn't it? Well, she didn't tell you about him, did she, Agent Dell? Don't start with me. Little Albert Jr., raised for the revolution. All the demonstrations she dragged him to. All the real education that he missed. It's a sad story, really. Shut up. About a woman who sacrificed her own son for the sake of a revolutionary pipe dream. You're a liar. You see, Albert Jr. was supposed to follow in his father's footsteps... That was her plan, at least. I love my son. But it didn't work out that way. The problem was, the young man had the audacity to love his country. Yes, he did. After all the years, all the speeches, what does he do? Enlists in the army. Look who's talking. Albert Parsons Jr. actually served with honor in the Spanish-American War. Yes, but his yes. But loving mother... This woman of the revolution didn't approve of that, did she? That wasn't it. I did everything I could. And this, 
This is the most telling part. You see, she wanted a little red so badly that when Albert Jr. came home, she had him committed. <laughs> no. That's right. She sent her own no. son to an insane asylum no. for being a patriot. I didn't do that. Shut up or I'll kill you. Oh, for you oh, bastard. There I it will is. kill you. Temper, temper. <laughs> now you see why I wanted those chains. Hook her back up. At least my boy had some courage. Ah. Got Palmer to keep you out of the war, didn't you? I was exempt essential. Coward. Godless bitch. I said hook her up. That's an order. How about we talk about your family? Let's say your father. What did you say about him? Spent his last years in Laurel Asylum, didn't he? You're not the only one who collects information. We know about you, special agent. Don't you threaten me. She did sacrifice her son. First her husband, and then her boy. And for what? Don't give me that look. I'm not, sir, but it is a little... You think this is cruel? Yes. Irregular, I was going to say. Wrong. This is reality and necessity. These people take no prisoners. They are soulless and fanatical. Sir, I'm having a problem with this. It seems so arbitrary. Oh, really? And pointless. Well, your position is noted. I thought you wanted to be a part of the team, but I see now that I was wrong. I want to protect the country and find the truth. Oh, good instinct. Poor execution. In any case, this black whore of a communist isn't going anywhere. The great Lucy Parsons, who urged other people to make bombs and then let them take the rap, who built her career on the bones of her... Comrades, this enemy of the state who hid behind the law all the time plotting to destroy civilization and almost got away with it. Oh, Haymarket was a true conspiracy, and there is one co-conspirator still at large. <laughs>